Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Hynek, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. <laughs> I almost get to get that out. <laughs> In our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, today we're gonna go provide you, the audience out there, with 60 second fixes for a tight, painful neck. Uh, stretches and exercises. Mm, yep, yep. Now let's, right away, let's, let's talk about the red flags. We just thought we'd throw that yeah. in there. That's so funny, isn't it? We're actually, we're trying to make light of something that's very critical. Right. Because if you have some of these red flags or these issues that are bothering your neck, you're not going to want to do some right. of these exercises. I want you to be very careful if you have rheumatoid arthritis because mm -hmm. that, that, that's not something where you want to get real aggressive on the stretches right. with. Um, osteoporosis. Um, if you're really quite elderly, right. be a little concerned. Exactly. If you're uh, on steroid use or if you had a neck fracture. Right, or if you got a herniated disc in your neck, you yeah, know, something like yeah, that. Yeah, this is this is really more for people who are feeling the pain in the neck, maybe right. a little bit into the upper traps, right. but not. This isn't the one that goes into the arms or right. stuff. This is all really just a tight neck or neck yeah. pain. If you're feeling a lot of tension, you've been working at the computer for a long time, and you feel those muscles tight, you want to get them loosened up. By the way, if you are new to our channel, um, you've probably never seen that red flag thing because that's new. <laughs> but uh, we provide videos on a stay healthy, fit, and pain-free. And if you want to subscribe, we, we have a subscription button over here or down here. And we upload every day. Excellent, Bob. All right, let's talk about it. The first thing you're going to do, Brad, is I want you to do, we're going to do range of motion of the neck in all directions. Sure. With a stiff neck. Right. Because one thing it's going to do, it's helpful. It's going to get things moving smoother. But the second thing, it's going to let you know which directions hurt. Right. Because it's right. important to know that. Right. Because... Be it's going to help you treat it. Exactly. So let's start off with Brad. Uh, well, the first one a lot of times we do is just chin tucks. Yeah, I'll do them this Brad's way. Brad's going to do it that way. Get a profile here so it's yep. like this. So you're not going down and you're not going up. You're just bringing the head back like this. It's this is usually the starting one that we use for every almost every neck treatment. Right, because it's so common. Most everyone has forward head from yeah. working at the desks or yeah, exactly. working on books or whatever they're doing. Nobody uses what, books anymore. I don't know what you're doing out there anymore. Well, it's studying, but sure. I guess they maybe don't even study with books anymore. <laughs> All right, the next one, let's go ahead and do uh, just flexion. Yep. Feel a stretch back here. Yep. Going down. Then we'll go into extension. Now, this is an exercise, I don't know why, but I hear a number of people have the idea that this is going to harm your neck. And, it's, and your neck is made to go back like yep. this. If you get sharp pains, you have something wrong with your neck, maybe then. But for the average neck, this is actually healthy. Yeah, with all these, if you start feeling pain, I don't want you to keep going in that direction. Right. Just bump up against the pain and come off it again. Sure. Yeah, this, this actually, the extension one is a really common treatment that we use. And a lot of people get better just by doing that one. Oh, yeah. It's a so, wonderful deal. So it's not a harmful one by any means. Mm -hmm. It's an old wives' tale or whatever you want to call it uh, mm -hmm. that it, it does. Exactly. So we did flexion. We did extension. We did chin tucks. Now we're going to do rotations, Brad. Okay. So again, always, by the way, very good posture when you're doing these. Right. So you're going to turn to the right. Turn to the left. You can do these together. And now, we're just going to hold this for about a second or two. Right. We're not doing that sustained stretch. This is just a short brief now, stretch. If now, if one direction hurts, you can work the other direction more. Right. So let's say this one, oh, this just really hurts going this way. Don't fire it up. That's just going to make things right. worse. Go to the point where it doesn't, you know, where it starts to hurt, then head to the other direction. Right. And just work that direction. A lot of times you'll find out this one eventually improves that. Right. And it um, might be... It doesn't go, but it doesn't really hurt. It just feels like tight muscle. If that's the case, you don't get that sharp pain, then you may want to stretch Give a little it. stretch. Yep and, yep, and then just stretch those tight muscles out. All right, then the last directions that we go are side bending. Sure. So side bend, and again, good posture, trying to put the ear onto the shoulder. Don't yep. bring the shoulder up to you. Right. And Working the neck. And then you want to show your little bit of a stretch you can do, Brad. Usually we take the fingertips. Mm. I don't like to take the whole hand, just the fingertips. And you can just give a little stretch. Yep. I mean, one or two fingers is plenty. Yeah. Yep. Again, to emphasize that you don't want to pull on it too hard. So now, now if that once you started doing range of motion, you found the ones that kind of hurt. Let's say it's this way. I turn, bend in this way, and turn this way. So now we're going to go the other directions, and we're going to give it a little stretch. Even. Yep. Now we're going to give that stretch. We call this a little overpressure in, in the therapy world. Yeah. And now maybe even side bend and stretch it this way. Yep. And this is where we're going to be called to end range. And we're, we're not going to get real aggressive with this. 
listen to your body and not a sharp pain, but a stretching pain is healthy. So now, you know, we, we're still stuck, let's say, Brad. Mm -hmm. we, you know, we've done these things, we're doing it in a direction that doesn't hurt, uh, but it's still, I still can't turn to the right, I still can't side bend to the right. Now we're going to bring the towels out. Sure. Right. <laughs> Not the towels, yeah, Brad. the towels. <laughs> what happened to my towels? It's right oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets serious when you get to the towels. Actually, towels are one of the wonderful uh, tools that everyone has in their home that you can use for stretching your neck, and it really helps. Let's first do extension, Brad. Why don't you show your method for doing extension? Okay. Yeah. Uh, this, by the way, let's say no matter what direction you're lacking, let's say you're lacking rotation and side bending, you still want to work on extension because right. sometimes those improve just by working on extension. Exactly. And, and Bob and I have different ways of doing our towels. So there's, I, I do this thing where you grab the corners and you flip it around. It's, it's like one of those things. Yeah, it's in all the, snap days yep. in the locker room. Yeah. But we're going to get low on the neck, right, Bob? Yep. Typically. Down low. And I'm not going to pull real hard. It's just, just support. And I like to do this in a chair that's about uh, shoulder blade height and I'm gonna let myself relax and just stretch. And it can make a big difference when you have some support. And then you Huge can also difference. pull forward to get your head back up. Because if it's tight or sore, sometimes pulling up is uncomfortable, but then you can do this and it'll help. And so we're gonna gently work this. If you bump into it and after three or four times, it should start feeling better. If it doesn't or if it starts feeling worse, you stop the exercise for that day. So then let's, another method that you can do, and this one is one where you can go maybe a, a few different, you mind if I sit, Brad? Yeah, you, you should have that seat, Bob. So I'm gonna take the, the high seat. This is our ongoing sh uh, little joke, by the way. You take the selfage, that's the little I ridge on the, end of the, <laughs> on the end of the towel, and you're gonna go like this, and now, yeah, this is where you gotta bring it up off the shoulders, otherwise it's not gonna, it's gonna get caught on the shoulders and not help. Right, actually, here I'll help you out. The, the, so what we're doing is getting more specific. When I did mine, I have yeah. a big bundle of towel, which makes it spreads out the force. This one brings that edge of the towel to a specific vertebra level, yeah. which can be real helpful. So yeah, you can work your way up and down the spine. So here I'm just right underneath the ear. I'm catching you know the higher levels of yep. the spine. He's up at C1, C2. And now I'm down below and catching more of the lower the lower ones. Right. So you can experiment with this. Usually we bring it together, and I like to have what we call the little bunny ears here. You can use both arms, or you can just use one arm if, if one arm is kind of bothering you. Right. And you can pull it together like this, and here, I'm watching the bunny ears. Here's the bunny ears. Yep. Ha, ha, ha. It's so cute. So as I go in extension, my arm goes along with me. You see, yeah. I'm always keeping my eyes on the bunny ears. Right. And, yeah. and what that does is that changes the, the direction of force on the, on the vertebra, which can help that help range of motion. Yep. Yep. So very simply like this. Again, I think you'll find out that you're going to move further. Um, Right. You know, once you have the towel right. in place with either either one, and you can move right. up and down the spine. All right, let's go into rotation, Brad, okay. the, with the towel. This is the same thing here. You're going to get the, the selfage underneath at, at, at the certain level, usually a lot of times right underneath the ears. And this is a little complicated now, Brad. What, what I like to do is, let's say I'm going to work on right rotation. I drop this one, okay, and then I switch hands. Yep. And now I'm gonna, I can pull over like this. And then you grab the other one. Yeah, this one's going down. This one just stays down on the yep. chest. And this one's going across. Yep. What you don't want is your shoulder to be moving like this. Exactly. Sometimes they even have people hook their arm behind on a chair to kind of hold it back. Right here. And this is, this by the way, all these should be pain free. If this hurts, you don't do it. Right. It's very simple. Exactly. So let's go the other direction, Brad. I'm gonna be up here. I start up here, okay, with my two little bunny ears. I drop the side that I want, the direction I want to go to. I'm going this way. I switch hands. I put this down, and now I can go this way. I can hook the arm behind here, and I can go work on this direction here. It's a great way to stretch. Now, one thing to be real important that is that you go above the jawbone here, not below it, because nothing will stretch, and you just end up cutting off your <laughs> your breathing so that's not a good thing so get it up here and, and you can good see point, mine is bob is using the the selfage uh, yeah. uh system and i'm using the one with the the roll yeah and see which one works for yeah. you we're, we're not tied to either one so oh, it is i'm just i gotta keep stretching about it yeah, it works good. out good doesn't it mm -hmm. all right the last one i'm going to show brad right now is just 
what we, what, this is the one I like to do, and it works really well for me when, when you're having trouble with the side bending. Sure. I, I first do a chin tuck, and then I bend to the side again. That does not hurt. Okay. So chin tuck, bend to the right. And I do a bunch of these, and, um, you know, I, I was getting some pain down here, and this just did so well at taking this away. Now, wait chin a second. Tuck. You said bend to the side. That does hurt or doesn't hurt? Doesn't hurt. Okay, but you said it hurts I, here. I was having pain here, but when I did this, it stopped the pain. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that, I, I I guess I wasn't clear on that. If it if it starts feeling better, the mm -hmm. pain, yep. you can go to that side. Right. You want to find the side that helps relieve the pain. And, and you know, you may experiment both sides and see which one if it responds better to as far as getting rid of the pain. Um, it may be different from person to person. So it, yep. you know, there's no one answer for everyone. This is what we do when we see patients. We try things and we see which, what sticks. You know, what do they throw the spaghetti to the wall and see what sticks? But I don't know. Not I don't know. Spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, that's how you tell whether or not spaghetti is done. Oh, really? You throw it against the wall. You never heard you this? You do that at home all yeah. the time? <laughs> you can just see your wall of spaghetti hanging. We got, we, we're going some. Anyways, Remember, we're good, not just pretty. We're pretty ugly. <laughs> we're pretty handy. Yeah, handy. They're helpful. That's right. All right. They're good stretches, too. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>